welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, for those of you that are new. For those of you that are not new, I'm very sorry that it has been a while. And I'm pretty sure I said that in my last couple of videos. But here we are. If you could just take one little moment and maybe subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Or if you enjoy this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. So we're going to talk about some very expensive nude lipsticks from Lawless. The first one that I purchased was in January and I loved it so much and then the world kind of shut down for a bit and then I ordered another lipstick and then I was in Sephora a couple weeks ago and I bought three of them at once and the total for all five products without tax is $190. Whoa! So each product does cost $38 before tax. That's expensive for a lip product, but I love them. Do they look very similar? Yes. Do I regret my purchases? No. So we're going to go through four of the lipsticks and I just have one of the lip glosses. Um, they actually only had one left and it so happened to be the one that I wanted so I'm very happy about that. So let's go in with my favorite one. It's called Platinum. It's the first one that I got. I bought this in January and it is really light but I also really love it. I don't know if the camera can show you. Hello. I don't know if my camera is going to pick this up guys but it's right here. So this one is called Platinum, and I'm not going to put a lip liner on with it, but if you have kind of like a nudish lip liner, like leaning towards a brown, nah, with this one. I'm not going to do that right now because we're going to swatch all of them, and there's just no point of, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So this one's Platinum, and they are such a very beautiful formula. Do, is there a cat hair? Probably. Oh, I just love it. I obviously am very fake tanned right now, so I love this one combined with a nice glowy tan. But, um, yes, this one's called Platinum, and I'm here for it all day long. I love it. How do you not love this? You can get out if you don't love this. Just kidding. Please stay. I love to wear this lipstick with a very bold eye look just because it is a nude, and usually if I have a very bold eye look, why do I keep saying it like that? If I have a very colorful, bold eye look, I really like to wear a nude lipstick, or if I do have a very bright lipstick, then I like to just keep the eye look very minimal, just a light brown, maybe. Anyway, that was platinum. Ah. The next one that I bought is called Annie, and it's more of a pinky peach nude. Oh, hello. If you can get that, don't know, because I don't know how to work the lighting or editing very well. If you can see, it's that one there. So, this one is, I'll just, how about I just finish this and then I'll talk. Oh, if you don't like this again, I don't, I don't know what you're doing, but this one does have a little bit more of a peachy tone to it. And I just, I'm dying over it. I love it. So this one is Annie. Oh, I think before <laughs> when I was applying it, I was trying to say that they are so comfortable on the lips. They, uh, they don't feel dried out or anything, but if you do have chap lips already then you can definitely see like the the dry skin it's not cute but if your lips are not dry I mean I just I just I just love it okay the next two are very similar we're gonna go with my third favorite which is called child this one they all again are very similar looking and there's a hair on it oh hello that's fine this one is more of a, a beige-ish nude. 
if that makes any sense. It looks very, very similar to Child or Annie, the one that we just did. So this one is called Child. They basically look very similar, but they're different, okay? Now I don't know if this one's my favorite or not, because I just feel like it isn't as light as the first one, the Platinum, but it is still very light. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so for the last lipstick, it is called Wedding Day. And <laughs> they just look the same, basically. This one does have a little bit more of a brown tone, purpley brown. What? There it is on that one. So that's Platinum, Child, nope, Platinum, Annie, Child, and Wedding Day. I guess I should take the last one off. This one does come across a little bit less pigmented. Very creamy, very soft on the lips. Hello. Isn't that cute? I know they all look very similar, but there are differences. There are, I swear. I didn't spend almost $200 on the same lipstick, but basically. And I'm okay with that because I love these. And I use that, that first one, Platinum. I probably use it almost every day for months, and I still have lots of it left. So I feel like... I am not allowed to buy any more nude lipsticks, but that I am covered for a while. So yeah, this is wedding day. So pretty. The color, not me. It's okay. Now, I've only had the lip gloss for two weeks, and I think I've only worn it once because I bought two of the other ones at the same time. So I don't really remember what it's like. It's called Babe, and it comes in, I don't know if you can pick that up, tube like that. It is a very light pink. That's it right there. Now I do find that this is a little bit sticky, and not a lot of product comes out initially. Ooh, hello, hello. No. This one I don't absolutely love because it is a little bit sticky. But it's still really pretty. I just, I mean, this almost $40 for a lip gloss. I have put this over one of the lipsticks and it does turn out very pretty. But I wouldn't uh, purchase this one again. This, this is not worth it to me. But the other ones, I'm here for them all day long. Okay, so I know that video was a little bit short and basically the same product over and over. I'm new to using Lawless, the brand. I don't have any other products from them and I've never tried anything else. I actually don't even know what else they have, but... They are a little bit expensive, but I'm very pleased with all of the products. Again, the lip gloss, mm, that's really expensive for, feels really sticky. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I do have many others if you would like to wander down path of me. That didn't sound inviting at all. Quick question for you guys, if you could let me know in the comments below. I, I realize that everybody's, there's all this drama with Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I'm neutral party, I don't really, like, I watch some videos on what's going on, but at the end of the day, I really like Jeffree's products, so I did get the Shane Dawson a Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette, and I also got the Cremated Palette from Jeffree Star. Please let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do videos on those, because I realize some people are just like, I don't know. I think it's stupid. I really love both of the palettes. I'm just going to tell you that right now, so I would love to do a video for you guys, but if everybody just hates them and doesn't want to support them, then there's no point in me doing a video. Now is there. Maybe I'll just do it anyway.
Who knows? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye!